Very brisk, very cold indeed. Last of them going in. 250 about the favourite Aussie Savannah in box number four. And they're just about set to go. Last of them placed away. 350 the distance for race seven, leg three of the quaddy. And the field look just about ready. It's been a long loading process. Those odds look like they're in. And it looks like the evens are filling their positions now. So we shouldn't be too far off a start for race seven. Favourites in box four. Green light on. They're set now. Off they go. Aussie Savannah broke okay from the centre of the line. Just back beyond midfield for a stride or two. Now the door opens and Aussie Savannah goes through to lead Bermuda Bean. Straight up to challenge and Miss Dacos cuts across and finds the lead ahead of them. Then Elliot Ness firing chief. Jack's flash a fair way back with pure promise and Dakota Sunset. But it's all Miss Dacos. Look at her go. Miss Dacos hard up against the paint. will smash them. Won it by seven. Second in. Bobbing go. Firing chief maybe a nose. Jack's flash. But there's not much in that. Uh, Fourth in might be Aussie Savannah ahead of Bermuda Bend with Elliot Ness and then Pure Promise. Back at the end of the field, Dakota Sunset, 19 and 84 the run. So Miss Dacos spearing across, finding the lead, and she was off and gone with the money. Number five, the winner for Gail Saunders, runs them into the deck here, has won it convincingly from a very close go. Jack's flash or firing chief. Not a great deal in that for the minor end of the prize and the fourth number we'll await on as well. But there's no doubt about the winner. Miss Dacos, Fernando Bale, it's a dream. Win seven, start 47. The Saunders clan.